Greetings and salutations. If you're new to the channel, thanks for stopping by. My name is Eric Moss. I'm a personal trainer, motivational speaker, and a modern day performing strongman. If you're unfamiliar with what a modern day performing strongman is, picture the old time strongman, legends of the past like the mighty Adam and Alexander Zass. They would perform real life feats of strength as part of a live show. I do a similar thing, but with a modern day twist. Some of the feats of strength I've performed in front of a live audience include things like bending steel bars, breaking chains with my chest, twisting horseshoes, rolling up frying pans, driving nails through wooden boards by hand, and even holding back a high performance motorcycle while taking off at full throttle. Now, being a modern day performing strongman and the fact that there's not a whole lot of us around these days to answer people's questions in an effort to generate in, in an effort to grow my YouTube channel um, by giving you guys what you want, I started a YouTube series called Ask Eric Moss, where I'd invite you to ask me a question by dropping it in the comments below. And when you do that, I try to get back to you with your very own custom video. Pretty cool, right? So this question comes from Mladen Kmenovic 5814. And they said, hey, can you tell us how Alexander Zass was able to lift horse using overcoming isometrics? Sorry, because this question is not in relation with this video. No need to apologize, Mladen Kmenovic 5814. So <clears throat> that question was posted on one of my vlogs that chronicled the uh, performances that I do. In this case, that one was in Scottsdale, if I'm not mistaken. Um, and one of the things with this YouTube channel <coughs> is I wanted to promote the fact that performing strongman is not just a thing of the past, that we are still around. So with those those chronicles for my performances, it shows that I'm not just some guy bending steel in my basement or garage or whatever. I'm actually out there inspiring the world with this craft. Unfortunately, with my vlogs, they don't tend to get the same amount of traction as my Ask Eric Moss series. So from what I understand with the way the YouTube algorithm works, when you post the comment on my vlog, it'll actually help it. So I really appreciate you dropping that question on the vlog, even if it's not necessarily relating to the subject matter. On to the question at hand, though. <coughs> so they said, can you tell us how Alexander Zass is able to lift a horse using overcoming isometrics? Um, thank you for asking that again. The thing with that is I'm not entirely sure that he did use overcoming isometrics in order to train up to lifting a horse. At least that's not the way I would probably approach it if I was in his position. Now, even though during the pandemic, I was always looking for new feats to do to, for my Feats of Strength Friday videos, I have no intentions on lifting a horse. But if I did, the way I would probably approach it would be as if I was like kind of like doing heavy, heavy, heavy partials in a squat. So one of the things when it comes to <clears throat> um, training is like you have to figure out what are going to be the requirements of your body, right? In the case of bending steel, the, the most direct way of training for bending steel is to push and pull on immovable objects with as much of the unstoppable force as you can generate. One of the things with bending steel is it doesn't tend to load the spine, um, which is why, or one of the reasons why you should breathe naturally when you're doing isometrics in order to prevent your blood pressure from skyrocketing. Now, there is another training methodology that's kind of similar to isometrics with the exception of, with isometrics, nothing moves. <clears throat> in the case of partials, you are moving massive loads, but for very short distances. So that would probably be the way I would approach lifting a horse if I was to add lifting a horse into my routine. 
partially because it's not just about pushing through things, but it's actually a, a supporting lift. You're supporting the weight of this massive animal on your shoulders. Now, as for how much that horse weighed, I don't, I don't remember. When you initially asked this question, I remember looking up the average weight of horses, but I didn't look it up just now. I believe like they, a pony is around 300 pounds. Um, and you would have to figure out where the pony is going to be heavier. And then you would try to load it accordingly. Uh, as far as a, if it was a Clydesdale, truth be told with my height, and I think I was about the same size as Alexander's ass. I'm not even sure standing up, I'd be able to, um, that I would clear the ground with, with their legs because Clydesdales are huge. I'm a towering five foot seven, by the way. So that would, pr so like heavy partials with possibly progressive distance training, that's like where you gently increase the range of motion would probably be the way I would approach lifting a horse. Um, but anyways, I hope that answers your question. If anybody else has any questions for me, please drop it in the comments below and I'll try to get back to you with your custom, with your own custom video. But in the meantime, if you liked this video, please let me know by hitting that like button. If you think anybody else should see this, please share it with them. And of course, if you want to see more of this sort of thing and, or you want to see the chronicles from my various performances, subscribe to the channel. But in any case, uh, that's it for today. Please stay happy, healthy, and strong. Eric Moss, over and out.